Happy New Year, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. And we're kicking off uh, this new year by spending uh, seven months going through the book of Psalms. Uh, we're going to be looking at every single psalm. There's 150 of them, so you can do the math. We'll finish sometime in August. Uh, but uh, hey, it, it's a new year, and I'm praying that God blesses you and blesses your family. And, and in fact, I was wondering, is that what you want? Do you want God to bless you in 2023? Well, I'm assuming your answer is yes. And if your answer is yes, then Psalm 1, which is what we're looking at today, uh, tells us exactly how to live a life that is blessed by God. Uh, Psalm 1, the psalmist says, Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked or stand in the path of sinners or sit in the seat of mockers, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by streams of water, yielding its fruit in season. Its leaf does not wither. Whatever he does prospers. Did you catch that? So if you want to have a blessed 2023, Psalm 1 tells you the two things you need to do. Okay, every one of us, if we want to be blessed in this year, then hear these and do these. First one is be careful who influences your life. He starts off by saying, blessed is the man or the person who does not do what? Walk in the counsel of the wicked, stand in the path of sinners, or sit in the seat of mockers. In other words, don't hang out with people who are intent on evil. You know, if, if you're uh, walking in the counsel of the wicked, then you're listening to idiots tell you how to live your life. If you're standing in the path of sinners, you're going to get caught up with them. They're going to drag you along to sin. And if you're sitting in the seat of mockers, you're making fun of other people, you're scoffing at everything then it's not going to end well for you. So uh, look at the people who are influencing your life. Uh, Proverbs says, the one who walks with the wise becomes wise, but the companion of fools suffers harm. So evaluate a little bit of who's influencing your life. By the way, this is why I'm a huge champion of life groups. We're going to have life group signups uh, this coming weekend and the next weekend. And we want everyone to be in a life group. Why? Because you need to be surrounded by godly people who are wanting to follow Jesus and can encourage you to do that, and you can encourage them to do that. So be careful about who influences your life. The second way to be blessed, second key to being blessed, is simply this, delight in God's word. Delight in God's word. Right? Isn't that, isn't that what he says? His delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. So read the Bible. Study the Bible, memorize the Bible, meditate on Scripture. Put God's Word into your life, and guess what's going to come out? It's going to be blessings. Your life is going to be blessed. Uh, and, and that's why I'm going to encourage you, you know, here it is uh, January 2nd, read, read through the Bible this year. Get involved in a daily reading plan and, and follow through. Do it with your life group, do it with your family, do it with somebody who can help you and hold you accountable so you guys can learn together to do it. So just figure out a plan and, and then do it. But in any case, if you want to be blessed, you know what to do. Make sure you're surrounding yourself with wise counsel, friends, influences, and read and apply God's word. Now that you know how to be blessed, I'm praying that you will have a blessed 2023 because you do it.